All right. In the parking garage, ready to take off. You ready, buddy? Tired already. Let's go! Welcome to the show, everybody. It's your buddy Domino Chris. I am ready to take you on the ride of a lifetime as I attempt to go to all 30 MLB parks in 30 days. Oh, so thanks, God. everybody. Another for one of these stadium chasers. Dude, we don't care. So then why are you here? Because I can do what I want. Okay. Anyway, we start from home base in Houston with a quick stop in Nashville to drop my dog off at his foster mom's house, which you will not be seeing because I don't know you nearly well enough for you to see me cry. My mom also lives nearby, so after stopping to say hello, grabbing a quick nap and a cup of coffee, by the way, here's a live shot of me after a 13-hour drive, the trip can officially begin. Here's a look at the 30-day schedule, May 24th to June 22nd. It was a little bit tough to get all the teams at home at the right time, but more on that later. I don't want to focus too much on that mile number because much like my credit card bill after this trip that can be big and scary so we'll just focus on one day at a time and for day one we are heading to minneapolis baby oh you're coming to minnesota oh we're gonna have so much fun okay first things first come to my house drop your bags off then we're gonna go down to the barbecue and oh man i appreciate that i'm only here for the game though unfortunately. oh geez louise buddy you at least gotta stay a couple of days see the mall of america i i really can't man i've got a game tomorrow in milwaukee and i've got to get on the road i've just got to keep things moving all right let's at least do this so i have a tater tot hot dish we'll top the tater with some mid-american farm sour cream dip will do. Any of y'all know what this guy's talking about? Nah, friggin' nut job, this guy. Yeah, y'all wanna talk, bro. Buddy, did I say anything to you? Your mother did. Don't stat with me, buddy. I swear to God, What's I am not problem, in the mood bro? for this come nonsense at me, you today. Come Don't stat with me, buddy. Come not me today. Of all guys. friggin' not days, you picked today. Good lord. Enough with the peanut gallery. We'll get to you guys later, but for now, we gotta stay focused. It's day one of the trip. It's park one, Target Field. Some quick facts about Target Field. It's right in the heart of downtown Minneapolis. It opened in 2010, which makes it one of the newer parks in the league. And it has an official capacity of 38,544. Good for 26th in the league. That number can be skewed a little bit depending on what website you're looking at, probably accounting for standing room only tickets and things like that. But that's the official capacity I found. Oh, so then you don't really know. I'm going by the numbers that I'm looking at. But you just said they were different. Now, how can we trust anything you say? Can you just try to enjoy the video? Maybe when you stop lying to all of us. Now, one thing that makes baseball parks unique is the food, and I love to try local. So before every park, I'd do a little bit of research, and when I got to the park, I'd take a lap around, see if anything jumped out at me, and if not, I would ask around. Maybe somebody there has some suggestions, like our buddy here. My friend. I'm looking for the best food in the park. Would that be upstairs or downstairs? Uh... It just depends on what you what you like. Something I can't get anywhere else. Uh, well, there's Murray's steak uh, steak uh, sandwiches. Okay. Uh, there's red cow, the hamburgers. Right. Um, there's pizza luce up, up by this way over here. Target Field. Okay. Uh, truly on deck in the corner. That's okay. Open to the public. Okay. Awesome. And Town Hall Tavern is up on the second level. Uh, that's open to the uh, public. Right. So uh, those are some of the options. Fair enough. Like. I appreciate your help, okay. man. Thanks very much. All good things. Very helpful. Very nice guy. But I am extremely indecisive, and he gave me a lot of options. So I'm wondering if anybody's got one thing at the top of their list. So I ask one more guy. Buddy, I'm asking around. What's the food item I can't miss here? Oh. For me, it's the mini donuts. Really? Mini donuts. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. the first I've heard of this. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why the mini donuts? Uh, because they're you can only get them at the fair or here. Okay. There's no other place you can have them at all. Right. So like having them here, if you're not here during fair time, it's like the only spot to get them. They're okay. So good. You get them fresh. You can just do the little bag. The bucket's a little too much. Right. I do the bag size. Absolutely. Incredible. I'm shocked at how quickly I was sold on this. Okay. Where do, <laughs> where, where do I go? Okay. Where do I go? <laughs> go ahead straight across there. See the Treasure Island Casino? Yes. Right. They're right straight in there. Yeah. What's your name, man? Craig. Craig. Thanks very much, man. Chris. My man, Craig. M mini donuts out of nowhere. Oh, I know, Craig. Good to see you, buddy. I don't know about the mini donuts, though. There might be better things in the park here. I mean, we, we might get the burger, too, but, like... <laughs> but that's the thing. Craig gave me what I wanted. It wasn't just the fact that he was selling me on the donuts, which are probably delicious because they're donuts, obviously, but it's the fact that you can't get them all the time. That's what I want. Some rarities. 
Looks like all the good stuff is on the second level, so let's head upstairs. All right, second level. Let's see what we have over here. Some Legends Landing baseball food. At the end of the day, if I do just go with a hot dog, that's not a bad move. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm still at a baseball game, for God's sake. Summit Brewing Company. Now, I am having a local beer from every park. Oh, almost forgot the beer. I'm having How a. Did you almost forget the beer. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Didn't almost forget the beer. Just almost forgot to tell you about it. Dude, That's... rookie mistake. Come on. I know, I know. I'm sorry. Anyway, one. Can you get your shit together? All right, shut up. One local beer everywhere we go. I get the strange feeling this is going to be what I go with. We'll see. No line, too. This might be the time to pounce on that. I walked around for about 30 seconds, then circled right back because a bar with no line is my favorite kind of bar. All right. We've got a Saga from Summit Brewing Company, which I believe is based in St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, yeah. You betcha. Hazy IPA. It's probably going to be an IPA almost everywhere we go. Cool spot here. Can't see much of the game, but that's just because I'm short. What are you going to do? Cheers. All right, moving on to the outside area. Now this is cool. It's, it's shaded in there, which is fine. I get why, but for me, when you come out to a baseball game, you definitely want to have a day out. And the weather is absolutely beautiful. I was a little bit worried because as I was walking from the garage to the stadium, there were a few rain droplets. And so I was a little bit worried it was gonna be a little bit worse, but uh, we have made it dry for now, but it counts. I made it in the stadium, so it doesn't matter if it rains now, but check this out. A cool, not just the, I was gonna say a kid's area, but it's a little bit more than that. We see some folks playing cornhole. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. It's cornhole and a couple of other games over there that I'm sure, again, with a packed house, some drinks, things like that. Could be fun. What I didn't really realize what this was at first, but this looks like a mini putt-putt course, which is kind of cool. Uh, just with some, uh, some putters over here. I, don't, I highly doubt this costs anything. I sure hope not. But, uh, but yeah, cool area if you just want to break away from the game for a little bit. So I continue my walk outside. Here's some cool stuff for the kids. And I stumble across a couple of the food places that our buddy mentioned earlier. But both of them have pretty long lines, and I think I can circle back around to them later. I want to focus on getting these mini donuts. And I'm very sorry to say that somehow the video I got of me watching them make the donuts got deleted. Do I even need to say anything? I'm really sorry. I do have me eating them, though. Oh, and there's a game going on. So I decided to watch a little bit. I hope I'm not bothering anybody. All right, let's see what this is about. I'm in. Not gonna lie, I expected a little better. Not bad by any means, fantastic, but thought there might be a little bit more glaze. But still, a little bit more emphasis on the batter and the dough. I'm okay with it. I watched the game for a few minutes, but wanted to check out the team's store because I want to get a souvenir from every park, but I haven't decided yet what that's going to be. I figure a program or a scorecard or something, but I want to see what they have. Maybe something will jump out at me. Team store. Welcome in. All right, thank you. All right. The old keychain suggestion. Pennant suggestion. Still a good shout. Probably won't go the shirt route. Don't know. Oh no, the foam finger. Foam finger. Beanie's never a bad shout either, but then I would have a lot of beanies that I probably wouldn't wear. But we'll take a look. Let's see how much the beanies are. Ouch. I do have a rule. I can't have the souvenir be more than the ticket, the food, and the drink combined. That is the rule that I've just created. Long story short, went with a program which a very sweet lady got me for free. Happy Pablo Day, everybody. And has a scorecard in it. Killing it. Boom! One more trip outside to take in a little bit more of the atmosphere and catch the end of the mascot races, which are always a huge hit if you're drunk and betting with your friends. Not that I would know anything about that.
And as luck would have it, I meet a couple of locals. What's your name, bud? Nate. Uh, Drew. Go ahead. Nate. Nate. Drew. 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 And you're from, we're, we're Cheers at, from Minnesota. Absolutely, yeah. We're at Target Field right now in Minneapolis. And you said you're from close by, right? I'm about an hour north of here. And you're, where are you from? I'm from Milwaukee. Which is, what, four or five hours or so? Five and a half. Okay, I'll need to know this because that is where we're going tomorrow. Okay. But this is actually the first park stop on the tour. Oh, so no we've kidding. got a heck of a month plan. But my uh, the stadium's great. My prediction is that this is probably going to be like in the middle in terms of rankings. And that's not a knock. It's more of like stadiums have just come a long way. Where sure. do you rank this one, you think? In in terms of comparison to others. Oh boy, I don't know. Uh, probably about where you're at, 10, okay. to, 10 to 15. Yeah, yeah. And that's a, a, that's a, a good. A, that's good. It's above On average. a nice Minnesota summer day, it's in the top 10. Yeah. But you know, it can get cold. So I mean, it's, it was 10 degrees a month ago. Was it really? <laughs> it's, like it, it's like it never. Ago. I lived in Chicago for four years. That was enough for me. I'm it done was with the north. A month ago. That's insane. I can't. I can't get it. What's it worth? I mean, never mind. It's hot enough down south, so where it cancels out. Once you get up north into cabin country, that's where really Minnesota shines. What do you like most, I guess, about being up here in Minnesota? Say some good stuff about your hometown, even if you hate it. Yeah, definitely <laughs> the the cabin culture. The yeah. Walking into a bar and knowing half the people in there. Yeah, it's great. I love that. Being out on the pontoon on a day like today. Okay. Food items. I had the mini donuts. I need one more food item before I go. What the do we got? The Kramachuk's bratwurst. Thank you. Somebody, everybody keeps thinking about it. You had yep. a definitive answer. You so can that see it more. down there uh, along the right field foul pole right behind it. Okay. That's the Kramachuk stand. Okay, And that's, a, that's made right here in northeast Minneapolis. You're going to have to have a Perfect. bratwurst tomorrow, though, when you're at American Family. A hundred percent. So we, are we not allowed to call it Miller Park anymore? It will always be Miller. I, right? I think you can say Okay. I still yeah. call it that. All right, boys. Well, cheers. I appreciate yeah, yeah. it. It's cool. Thanks very much, man. Shout out to Nate and Drew. Top guys. Thanks for helping me get this trip started off on the right foot. But it's getting pretty late. No time to waste. I want to get this brought before they close up the concession stands. Let's go. All right. Food item number two. A cheddar brat from... I'm uh, going to assume that this is Kramarchuk's. I hope so. I hope I said that right. Um, here's the thing. This might be delicious. It was also over $12 for a very minuscule brat. Now, brats are great. Not denying that. But I hope it's really good. We'll see. Let's find out. It was okay. Food is expensive everywhere in general. I found that out the hard way, so I'm not gonna complain much about the price, but there are probably better bang for your buck choices at Target Field than the brat, but it was good. It was pretty good. But anyway, I know what you're all really thinking. Who's got the best seventh inning stretch? So that's Target Field. I thought it was a great park to get the trip started off. Definitely above average. I'm not gonna do any kind of a ranking system until I am through all of the parks, with the exception of maybe a couple of parks that were really bad, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. But what did you think? What did I miss? Is there anything about Target Field or Minneapolis in general I should do the next time? Because I'd love to go to almost all of these parks again. Leave it in the comments section, and while you're down there, do me a big favor, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you down the road in Milwaukee. See ya.